All right, let's move on now to task three, step one. As we move forward now in getting ready to create our final layout, and the, and the first step in that is to create a detail map that'll become an inset. So to do that, it's pretty easy. Um, just to clean up here, I'm gonna remove my um, that annotation layer that I just uh, showed you. And I've got all my layers now looking the way I want them to at a one to 20,000 scale map. And so I'll get the drawing order kind of fixed back up. Oh, I actually have too many layers here. So there we go. So now I've got my roads, my points of interest, and my sort of figure ground background. And I'll reset the scale just to kind of see how it looks. And so this is the overview map. So to make the inset map, which will be, a, we'll make that a detail inside the, the village here. I'm gonna to go to the catalog tab, and then under here, under maps, here's my overview map. I'll right click, copy, go up to maps, right click, paste. And so that'll make a copy of my map. It's, you know, overview one. I'll right click immediately and rename it to detail. And now with that, I'll double click on my newly copied map. And this now, because it's a detail map, I'm going to change a few things. Um, right out of the gate, I'm going to I'm going to get rid of the the hill shade and the DEM. They're not really relevant for what I'm trying to do here. And I'm also going to set the reference scale to about one to five thousand. Because this is the scale I want this particular map to be when it's printed out. And so, like you saw earlier in this video, I can right click and do set reference scale. And you can see how the labels now have changed because I set that reference scale. And this will work, um, let's say this is the area that I'm interested in. All right, let's show you now task three, step two, to try to make some of these lines look a little nicer because of our scale, we're getting at a, larger scale map where we're more zoomed in we have more detail but a smaller area so that's a large scale map and you might recall from earlier in the lecture part of this video series about the ideas of cartographic generalization and i'll show you one tool that you could use to uh, make these lines look a little cleaner with some of these really sharp edges they might have and this is just the nature of these data sets that come from the u.s census bureau so to do that we're going to go to geo processing And we'll go in the toolboxes. And we're going to go to the cartography tools. And under generalization, we're going to use this one, smooth line. And it's always helpful if you don't, you know, a new tool, this is what it's going to do. So some of those sharp edges are going to get um, smoothed out. And so the way that's going to work We'll select roads as the input and it'll it'll put it in our um, default geo database and when i was putting this together i found that a thousand feet was the tolerance in terms of how it'll make a decision as to what parts of it to smooth so we'll go ahead and run that so after you run the smooth line um Depending on how you set it up, like the way I did, it may not be completely obvious what it did. So there is the new layer. It attempted to use the symbology from the layer that I pulled it from. But to really show you what this looks like, go to smooth line, because if you turn it off and turn off the other road layer, um, some of the lines don't look like they're there, but they are. And so right click symbology, even though it's already open, go to single symbol and make it something you know visual that you can really see it. Nice red line. Now, so this red line is what was created by the smooth line. If I turn roads where it came from, you can see how the smooth lining worked. Here's a, a good example right here. It took that really kind of sharp edge 
and um, made it smooth. So that's a great example of cartographic generalization with tools that are available to you in ArcGIS Pro and definitely recommend using them if you want to make nicer looking symbols. Um, like this is an example of probably our cul-de-sac that looks just ugly, the underlying data set, but the smooth line tool is able to smooth it out. So now let me show you task three, step three. We put all that effort in to get all these labels and so forth for these roads. Let's make sure that we get that back. So the way to do that, we want to take the way we had things symbolized here, but we want to apply that to the smooth road line. And the way you do that, it's pretty easy. Go back to the primary symbology, click on this menu, do import symbology, and the symbology layer will be roads. And we'll just accept all the defaults, we'll run that. And you can see now how the symbology that we worked hard to get for roads has now been applied to the smooth roads. And we can turn the, that roads off and we're basically good to go now. And so let's move on to the next steps of creating the actual layout. Hi, this is Brian Tomaszewski. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and share this video. Also, please consider subscribing to this channel and clicking the notification icon to stay up to date on new videos from this channel. Thanks for watching.